Welcome to Momentum Bashing 2. In the first Momentum Bashing activity, we were looking at how changing an object's mass affects its momentum. However, we realized there was a flaw in our design using that variable of mass. We noticed that the marbles didn't quite work out so well. If we would have had four different size marbles, each successively greater mass, it would have worked much better. But those marbles are kind of hard to find. So, I asked you in the very last question, how else could you increase an object's momentum besides increasing its mass? And you realize that momentum has two variables to it. It has mass and velocity. So in this experiment, we're going to look at how changing an object's velocity affects its momentum. So let's look at our materials. You have your activity sheet, okay, front and back. You'll notice on the back, the data table's blank, because this time, you're going to have to organize your data on the data table also going to have to write your own procedure and draw a graph. The rest of your materials are pretty much the same. You have your meter stick that's going to measure how far your cup goes when the marble hits it. You have your ruler with a groove in it. Now you're using just one marble. But you have to increase this marble's velocity to see how it's going to affect the momentum. To do that, ideally, you want to increase the height each time by the same amount. So if you see here, I've got four books, all of pretty much equal thickness. So this would be, for instance, my fourth trial. So I'd set my marble up at the top, cup right down there, make sure your meter sticks align, just like in the first investigation, and let it rip. All right, have fun with Momentum Bashing 2.